Oh my god, it's so hot. Anyway, hello to anyone that is joining or going to join. I didn't do a live stream on Tuesday, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's my fault. I just, I was busy, so I didn't, I didn't do anything. Why does that have to be so warm? Hey guys. God. Hey. To everyone that's joining. I didn't do a live stream on Tuesday. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm doing it today, so. It's Thursday now, not Tuesday, but whoops. My bad. How are you guys? It's so warm in my room. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. I didn't, I didn't do anything this week. That's why, um... Uh, you didn't miss anything. I, I'm doing my live stream today. <laughs> I didn't do it on um, Tuesday. I forgot. So I need an air conditioner. <laughs> Hi, Ellie. God, it's so uh, warm. So how was your uh, day today, guys? I wanted to talk about uh, Disney. Last weekend, Girl Meets World was trending on Twitter. And I was like, this is a good topic for my live stream because, you know, a lot of People that subscribe to me talk about Disney and stuff. And so, uh, I think the main topic I want to do for the live stream today is diversity. Like, kids show diversity, but also, like, Disney Channel. You got a bird. Ooh, what kind of bird? Congrats. Like, a parrot. I always, like, think that they're, um... They're very talkative parrots. Or I don't know what kind of bird you got, but... Hey, everyone. Parrot. Yeah, that's... They're nice. Although, be careful when you bump into their cages, if you ever do bump into their cage. Alright, well, uh, like I said, sorry for not doing the live stream on um, Tuesday. Oh, I missed your birthday. Happy belated birthday. Oh my god. Actually, I turn 18 in a few weeks, so uh, my birthday is coming up too. I'm a Taurus. Oh my god. But um, Alright, so what I wanted to talk about at least in this live stream, was diversity. Now, when we talk about diversity, most people are like, oh, like white people and black people and Asian people and Latino people. And I'm like, yeah, but that's like races. Like when you're talking about diversity, it's like, do we have someone who's like normal or someone who is neurodivergent, someone with a mental illness or someone that has like a disability? And so you are 16 years old now. Congrats, congrats. I'm gonna turn 18, so that's good. June. My best friend's birthday is in May, so we share a birthday month. And my other best friend's birthday is in July, so that's nice. Anyway, anyway, continuing. Uh, like I said on Twitter, Girl Meets World, which if you guys don't know, it's a show that aired from 2014 to 2017 on Disney Channel. And it was a spinoff of Boy Meets World, which aired from 1993 to um, 2000. And it got a lot of attention last weekend. Or at least, was it two weekends ago? No, it was last weekend. Yeah. And so I'm like, okay, this is something I could talk about on the live stream. Because, you know, it, it, it interests people. So... Uh, what people were talking about when they were talking about Girl Meets World is how it hasn't aged well. And it, what's it called, was bad representation for kids, for a kids show. And that it didn't deserve to be on Disney Channel. And it was like the downfall of like Disney Channel. A bunch of other things. I saw, you know, how you always see like those old Disney and new Disney uh, tweets and Instagram posts and stuff. So it's, uh, it's whatever. But, um, anyway, I was thinking, like... When it came out, I kind of liked Girl Meets World, but like I never watched it like that. I didn't. I wasn't like a stan of the show like other people were. And uh, wow, I'm a whole ten years older than you. I'm so surprising. Anyway, uh, bye. You don't have to tell me when you had to go. It's okay. Bye. Um, my birthday is May eighth. I turned eighteen. Anyway, I was like, like, this is a really, like, disgusting show. And 
like the examples that people were uploading was just like it was i i it was like weird i was like i know people don't like disney channel but like this is like horrible you know and so like the episodes they were uh talking about was like there was an episode where farkle was diagnosed with autism and they were like acting like he was about to die and that's like the clip that got the most attention on twitter and i was like oh dang like i don't know <laughs> like that's like really messed up of them to do because like autism is a whole spectrum right i'm not an autist but um i know that you know there are people who are, are like who have autism and they can like function fine or they look normal just like everyone else and then there's people who have like on the like end of the spectrum and whatnot and so like the way maya and riley and their families were just acting like oh my god fork was gonna die and blah 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 blah. it was just like so funny to see the reaction and like i know we shouldn't take it seriously because it's like a kid's show uh but yeah that got a lot of attention last weekend and so um yeah I was like, okay, so, like, that brings up a good point, because Girl Meets World takes place in New York City. I live in New Jersey, and I live an hour away from New York City, and I live less than an hour away from Philadelphia, and these are some of the more, most diverse cities in the United States. They're telling me Girl Meets World takes place in New York City, Boy Meets World took place in Philadelphia. I haven't even seen boy meets world but i know that it takes place in philadelphia because i remember watching an episode of girl meets world where they go down to philadelphia to mr feeney's house and blah 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 uh but it's a white family with like the token black friend or the one like minority friend i'm like huh like you live in new york city and there's not like more diverse people it's just like the same random you know riley matthews uh family it's like what and so people were talking about how the old disney shows like wizards of Waverly place and uh that's so raven and lizzie mcguire and hannah montana you know the same like statements uh you know that are made about like oh old disney was better because you know uh you know, it did this better and it did that better and New Disney sucks because they couldn't even do this right and this sucks and the acting sucks and blah, 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 blah. And I'm thinking like, you know, there's a point, but like diversity, Disney Channel as a whole has not had a lot of diversity. I mean, if we go looking back in their 2000s shows, which is, you know, old Disney, I mean, how diverse is it really? I mean, you... When, like, when you're a little kid watching those shows in the 2000s, I mean, you just, you know, look at your TV and you see what's on there. And so I, you know, didn't watch Disney Channel when I was, like, in my childhood, my early childhood. But, like, I don't know. Like, Lizzie McGuire, Lizzie is white and Gordo is white, but he's Jewish. Meanwhile, Lizzie and Miranda are Christians, but Miranda is uh, Latina, I think and uh what's it called like the rest of lizzie's family is white and her brother matt has like a black best friend and so there that's some diversity but it's not enough the even stevens show just like white people and mind you most of the tv shows take place in los angeles which is like not even it's not like a white white place it's you know los angeles is full of people too so I don't know why. Happy early birthday. Thank you. Who keeps spamming hi? Actually, I saw a few. Uh, oop, not my camera tipping over. Someone posted something. Uh, that's your birthday. That's good or whatever. Queen Batty, wait, I have a question. Oh, well. Sorry. Can you say play hi to me? I'm so channel. That's the weirdest part. Everybody wants me to say hi to them. I never understood that. Oh, well. Uh, someone had a question, and I didn't see it, so I'm sorry about that. Um, What do you guys think so far? 
for the three people that are in here, what do you guys think about what I'm talking? Like, is there good enough diversity on Disney Channel or on any of the kids' channels, or do we have to do better? I think the best channel for kids and children's shows, like, the best diversity is Cartoon Network. Definitely way more than Nickelodeon or Disney Channel. Um, Disney Channel has, like, taken such a long time to catch up. I mean, I think only, like, two shows have, like, majority black casts. And that has to be, like, That's So Raven and Casey Undercover, which is the second Zendaya show. And so I'm thinking, like, like, where is, like, the other representation? Because in every show, you either get the token Asian, you get the token black, or you get the token hispanic and then everybody else is just white and so that's what makes it controversial because it's like you know it's like a pr stunt basically hey uh stephanie it's like a pr stunt right because if you're gonna have shows about white people but then you have the token black person and then you have the token hispanic person and then you have the token asian person it's like that's not representation you need more people in your shows you can't just have shows about white people and you know a lot of people of color and of different like you know mental spaces have been asking for more shows that you know represent them not just like i don't know white people doing you know boring stuff like <sighs> remember place how are you i'm good hey guys i'm sorry i'm talking about diversity in disney channel feel free to chime in if you want uh, because I was telling the people who were here earlier that last week in Girl Meets World was trending on Twitter because it was like, oh, well, bad, you know, Disney show. And, you know, truth be told, the clips that were, like, getting traction on Twitter were not the best clips ever. But anyway, I was talking about how, for example, okay, let's do, let's talk about shows that don't have a white lead, but instead have, like, a minority lead. So in this case, um, that's a Raven. Raven Baxter uh, is a main character lead. What's it called? Was was Selena's character on Wizards of Waverly Place ever like? I know she's like Italian and whatnot, but like her mom's Latina, so it's like is Selena. I think she'd be considered. Yeah, I don't know. I just know that like she's considered white, but like not really. And then Demi, Demi also had some Sunny with a chance, and I think that counts, but I'm not sure. Uh, Zendaya with both her shows, Shake It Up, and Casey Undercover, which I mentioned before, That's So Raven and uh, Casey Undercover are the only shows with a majority black uh, cast. Me and my best friend, one of my best friends actually, we're talking about this uh, on FaceTime like a week or two ago, how the funny part is in most tv shows you have like the whole white cast and the one black person but like in casey undercover like the entire cast the main cast is black and then you have the white friend so and we were talking about how basically zendaya sacrificed like her movie career to stay on disney longer to give black people more representation on tv and i think it was good of her to do that because like Come on, comparing like Bella Thorne, she didn't. She's like she fell off like immediately because you know now Zendaya is getting praised for being in every little thing, and so you know she definitely took her time with her things and whatnot. But yeah, uh, we were praising Zendaya for bringing more black representation to Disney Channel, and I think that is what's needed more. Like right now in 2021, or it was is it 2022? They're about to like make a show mostly black and that's great i think it's like three black girls i don't know what's the premise about but apparently it's going to be interesting so i'm probably going to watch it anyway but yeah oh yeah and shows with asian leads like okay you guys know who olivia rodrigo is right she's uh she's like mixed she's like filipino american and so she's like half white half asian and uh so she was one of the main characters on bizarre vark and i know it's not one of the best shows but you know it's whatever and madison hugh which was also the other asian lead in that show so um i mean that show mostly had white people in it but 
uh, the two Asian girl leads, female Asian leads. I mean, I mean that's good for representation, and you know, I I bet like a lot of people could find themselves in that character. I mean, I know a lot of people didn't like Bizarre Vark. I watched it when it was on the TV, but like I wasn't like a huge fan. But you know, it's good for that. Uh, Stuck in the Middle had a Hispanic family as like I think it was the first Disney Channel Hispanic like family show. Just like how they've had like black shows before, it was the first like fully like Hispanic one. And so Jenna Ortega was the main lead on that and. Uh, I mean, like I said, we've had, like, main, like, Hispanic leads before, uh, Lelaine being Miranda and Lizzie McGuire, and, uh, that's all I can think of right now, but, like, other, other Asian leads I can think about are, like, Brenda Song being Lyndon Timpton in The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and The Sweet Life on Deck, so, and she had that role for a long time, so it's not like it wasn't, like, completely useless but um what else jesse jesse definitely had a lot of diversity although the issue of jesse that a lot of people refuse to admit is that a lot of the the time like the characters were reduced to like racial stereotypes and like were made to be like their cultures and like their characters were made to be like american stereotypes and like the butt of the joke and whatnot and like i think i talked about this in my top 10 disney channel shows video that like, if you go back and actually watch Jesse, like, Ravi is, like, the whole, like, like, fish out of water. Like, oh, look, like, they adopted him from India, and, you know, he has the accent, and what's it called? You know, he's wearing, like, his Indian heritage, uh, you know, outfits and the socks and sandals, and he has the Mrs. Kipling lizard and stuff, and... Like, he's usually, like, he's, like, super smart, but, like, he doesn't get friends and he's not in the know. And, like, I mean, that's a stereotype. I consider that to be a stereotype. Or, like, how, like, I didn't, like, realize it back then, but everybody knows Sky Jackson plays Zuri Ross on Jesse and on Bunked. And she was always, like, it's okay to have, like, a little sass in you, but, like, that sassy black, you know, girl... Like, that's not a stereotype. You're trying to tell me that that's not a stereotype in real life. Like, oh, like, black women are always seen as, like, more aggressive or, like, sassy. Like, I don't know. Like, I, like rewatching the show, is, it becomes, like, a bit more clearer now. And, like, Emma, for example, like, you see, like, even, like, for white people, she is, like, the whole example of, like, a dumb blonde, how they say in some things. Like, she didn't know how to do a lot of things and she needed help and she like focused on fashion and uh just i don't know like materialistic things and the way that like i know like they're like all rich and so they're all supposed to be like spoiled and entitled and whatnot and you know jesse prescott the character herself is supposed to be like hard working uh you know rise from the bottom up and whatnot and it's just like she takes care of this, like, entitled, like, entitled, rich, spoiled family. And, like, the whole thing is, like, made out to be, like, a big, fat stereotype. And I'm thinking, like, I like Jesse. I like watching, you know, the old episodes. But, like, I can't deny the fact that, like, there's, like, some real, like, microaggression type of, like, race, racial undertone, stereoty stereotypical thing going on in the show. And I'm thinking, like... Like, that's, like, this was, like, 10 years ago, and, I mean, hopefully, I think things have, you know, become much better with people speaking out and not being silent anymore about, like, uh, you know, things being projected the wrong way. Granted, I don't think Asian people or black people or Hispanic people have ever stopped being, like, you know, speaking out about it, but I think it's just that, like, public perception is more negative to uh what used to happen before when they used to make these shows and uh like another show that i really like ant farm right with china and mclean she was a black lead but the rest of the cast was uh white and of course you know we got to see her family time to time her her mom her dad her brother you know that's nice but like diverse isn't just like the one you know minority character and the rest of the people being white like yeah i know it's the united states where like 70 percent of the population is like white but like 
um like there's more room for people to be represented that's why at least i don't know about you guys but you know the reason why my channel got you know a lot of subscribers in the first place is because i uh made compilations of my favorite disney show which was andy mac which i know i get um do you know the movie instant family actually yes i had to watch it for uh class last week it was an assignment Anyway, um, Andy Mac, right? You know, you have Andy, Chinese American girl. You have Buffy, she's black. You know, African American. Uh, Jonah and Cyrus, they're white, but Cyrus is gay. You know, so that's like the little LGBT representation. He's Jewish, so he's not like the basic Christian character that we have in all the shows and whatnot. Um, Andy's family is part of the main cast so it's not like just like some side recurring character like you know bex is asian cc is asian so you know there's like a lot of asian representation in that show but just a lot of diverse things in general like how what is it like in a lot of disney channel shows everybody celebrates christmas right but it's like not everybody in the world is a like celebrates christmas and I noticed, I think someone said this like a year or two ago. I can't believe it's been two years. But uh, someone said that the creator of the show tried not to mention God a lot. Because, you know, not everybody worships the same God or prays the same God, you know. And uh, there's it's like so many different Christian religions that like it's just like God. Or like if you're Jewish, you know, you, you say God as well. Uh, but... Like, if you're a Muslim, you say Allah, right? So, like, not everybody, like, worships the same God. So, I think, you know, being more diverse in terms of, like, you know, race, religion, um, you know, neurodivergency, I guess, if we wanted to call it, you know, talking about disabilities and mental illness and whatnot. It's just, like, all that matters in, in terms of having a good show. And it's not just about being woke in 2021 it's not about being like a snowflake or whatever might people would, might say it's called kind of being represented the right way and now people are getting upset especially like the wrong type of people and i'm not afraid to say racist people are getting upset it's like oh now we have to listen to gay people now we have to listen to black people now we have to listen to asian people it's like yes now you have to listen because everybody else has been forced to watch white straight people white christian straight people on tv since like forever i mean when are we gonna give other people a chance to be seen and represented on tv like duh oh sorry i haven't even been reading the comments do you know the movie instant family yeah uh <laughs> i said that my birthday's in july my birthday is in may um what's your name it's on my channel, so my name is Norman. My name is Norman. My name is Norman. Yeah. I'm sorry, I cannot. <laughs> hi, yeah, I already said hi. Sorry. I mean, it is my live stream, so that's why I'm talking a lot, but nobody's really made any comments, so I don't know. I'm a flop. These live streams have not been getting the traction they used to get. But I think that's really my fault, though, because um, I haven't really promoted anything. Uh, my favorite color is blue. Oh, wow, you're 14. Um, I'm about to turn 18 in two weeks. So I am almost done with high school. Thank God. Yep. Oh god, it's so warm. It got it was cold and now it's warm all of a sudden. I have my window open so it's like not so hot in here, but it's whatever. Alright, well I think I'm done talking about Disney Channel diversity. So if you guys want to talk about something else that is okay with me, but um it's whatever. Um I live in the United States. I Live in the state of New Jersey. Yep. Yeah, it's so cool. I was born in 2003. Uh, like I said, I'm turning 18 in two weeks. So, 
I am almost officially an adult, so yay me, as Brenda Song would say. Texas, that's cool. What part of Texas? I am like in the middle of New Jersey. I'm like in between Philadelphia and New York City, so I don't know. Not busy, but San Antonio, I've heard of that. I've heard it's a nice city. Um, so I think it's a bit to the south of Austin. Yeah, I've heard that they have a nice like river system through the city. That's nice. I'd want to go to Texas one day just to visit though. Like, if I ever went to Texas, I think I'd want to visit Austin and Dallas and maybe El Paso, but not Houston. Vancouver, Canada. You're all the way over there. <laughs> oh my god. Vancouver seems like a cool place, but um, I've heard it, it's been expensive lately. Kind of like Toronto. Ooh, but I want to go to Toronto, though. Toronto seems like such a nice place. And it's not that far away. Toronto is in the... It's closer to the east coast of the United States. Milmar, where's that? God, it's so hot. Wilmar, but what's Wilmar? I've never heard of that place before. Like, I know generally most of the, like, the po most populated places on the planet, but, like, I don't. Bye. Uh, Hass Hassani, Hassani, whatever. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me what middle school you go to. <laughs> Remember, guys, TMI, too much information. You don't want people tracking you down. It's okay. It's just that... I don't know. I think I have a lot of young people. You're not young. You're closer to my age. But I think there's like a... I've had like live streams before where like I've had eight-year-olds share their birthday and their school and their town. I'm like... Someone even put their email address and their phone number. I'm like, you don't even have to do that. Please don't do that. There's going to be like an adult. All right, well, there's three minutes left in the live stream. So, like I said. Well, meanwhile, I have anybody here. Did you guys watch Billie Eilish's new music video? I loved it. People said it was country, but I think it's a nice song. Uh, how does it go again? Try not to abuse your power. Or it went something like that. I don't know. Oh, my God. I am so excited for her new album. Oh, my God. Cause I, I, I want the fire for you. Just let me adore you. It's the only thing I have. Uh, Billie Eilish. She released a new song today. I listened to it. I think it's a pretty good song. Ah, <sighs> so warm, so warm. What do I know? You saw it? That's nice. God, I have so much homework to do. <laughs> I just want to be done with school. Gosh dang it, gosh dang it. I mean, I do, I do shout outs uh, when people ask because nobody comes to these live streams anyway. So, um, it's like, sure, whatever, I'll just, like when if in the comments when they say, "Can you say my name?" I'm like, "Sure, fine." I see me, Bonnie. When I didn't even see, uh, there was someone earlier in the chat saying, "Can you say my name?" And uh, I forgot if I did or not. I don't know. I just always found it weird, like, can you say my name? Is that the same as shouting someone out? Or is that just, like, being weird? I honestly don't even know how to YouTube the right way. I'm barely new to this. That's rude. 
It's a rude comment. All right, well, I made it to 30 minutes, so since we're not talking about anything else, uh, that's the ending of my live stream. I can't believe I talked about Disney Channel for 25 minutes. It's so funny to me. I mean, of course, you can talk about something for 25 minutes if you're really passionate about it, but it's whatever. Well, if you guys like this live stream, I do them every Tuesday. Um, although I was tired on Tuesday, so that's why I'm doing it now. But yeah, I do them every Tuesday in the afternoon, although there's not a specific time, so that's on me. And uh, if you guys liked it, press like. If you guys didn't like it, press dislike. If you guys wanted to uh, subscribe, subscribe, I guess. But thank you guys for watching the live stream and whatnot. Um, I'll see you next time.